previously on Dream Team. Come the end of next week, we will be the owners of Hartchester United Football Club. What would I do without you, eh? Just get it out of here. It's your daughter. <laughs> I don't want to see her. Irving sold to a higher bidder. We've lost the club, Patrick. You can come home. He only needs physio once a day now, and the club will want him back training soon. How do you do? Fill in, check any new owners. Can you believe it? I want to flip him roll over. I want to place a bet, half a million quid, on Harchester United being relegated this season. Have you met him yet? Yeah, he and his wife came to the match. She's so nice. He's just a plumber. He's never run a business before. Well, at least the toilets won't get blocked. Have you finished those reports yet? Oh, sorry. Oh, and by the way, can you get someone to move that rust bucket fiesta from the chairman's space? I want it moved before they get here. Look at it, Jack. Isn't it beautiful? The dragon's lair. I must have sat in these stands 200 times. I was here when Lucas scored that great goal against Man U. And when Rodriguez put in that penalty to keep us up against Tottenham. What a match. Now it's all mine. I own the dragons. I own the dragon! I still can't believe it. Neither can I. Excuse me! If I don't know who you are, how you got in here, but you can't just... Sorry, I didn't recognise you. It's Snicky, isn't it? Sorry, we were just, well, you know, first day and all that. No, no problem. Can I do anything? Yes, no, please. thanks. Put these in the car for us, could you? It's the Fiesta. Fiesta? Oh, right. Time to make a good impression. Come here. I can do this, can't I? No one loves this club more than you, Phil. I should know. I love you, Jackie Wallace. You know I can't take her with me. Yeah, and what if Jamie freaks out? Then I'll never get him home, will I? <sighs> yeah, well, I should think so too, Dad. I've got enough to deal with. Yeah, look, anyway, I've got to go. Bye. What's up? I think you're stressed. <sighs> oh, we shouldn't. Why not? Because... My husband is lying in hospital and I've got to pick him up in an hour. I think we've got time. <laughs> hey, you deserve this. No, I don't. Yes, you do. She would suffer, she would fight and compromise. Do you want to go? No, you're all right. Is now a good time to go through your schedule? Yeah, great. When do you want to meet the HODs? Heads of department. Whenever. I could set something up for this afternoon. Sounds good. Or would you rather tour the club and meet them in situ? Uh, um... What do you want to do? I want to go watch training. Well, that's what you should do then. Good idea. Oh, Nicky, could you take Mr Wallace to... I was just about to offer. It's OK. I, I know where I'm going. Well, perhaps I could give you the grand tour instead, Mrs Wallace. <laughs> Mr. Wallace, uh, Phil. Keep it up. Phil, I'm sorry, I wasn't expecting you. Um... Oh, no, 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 carry on. I'm just here to watch. All right, carry on, guys. Oh, excellent. Go, Fletcher! 
And this is the manager's office, where the manager manages. Must be about half the size by now. Such a tragedy. Not least because it meant that my husband could afford to buy them. It's time I took this down anyway. Should we get back? You ready, babe? Yeah, I can't wait to go out of here. Let's go then, yeah? You all right? Around, please, guys. Right, I'd like to introduce your new chairman, so Mr. Phil Wallace. Hi. Do you want to say something? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, amazing to be here. Um, thanks. Right, that's it, guys. Carry on, thanks. All right, set yourselves again. Look alive. Come on, look so sharp. What's a cabbage? Put cut us off front with Monday. Um, play Fletcher out wide like Ian Coach used to, and then put Marcel in midfield with uh, a, a, a Lee Bowyer type in the middle. Hey, maybe we should buy Bowyer. I don't think we've got that sort of money. No, I, I don't fancy Robbie Walsh, so let's sling him out and use the cash. What, and buy Bowyer's left leg? Well, we'll find the cash somewhere, and besides, Walsh is a total waste of space. Well, you are the chairman, and your views are important. Do you want a cup of tea? Something to eat? No, I don't want any tea. I'm not hungry. Well, what do you want, darling? Jamie. What? Baby's not here, is it? She is with Dad. So what's the problem, then? He doesn't concentrate, there's no focus there. Don't underestimate what Robbie's been through. And he's still carrying his injuries from last season. Give him a bit of time. A while ago, you were for offloading him. He's certainly not playing any better. Well, sometimes it's best to sit back and look at the big picture. Patience. It's no news virtue in this game. How long do you want? We play one or two matches a week and everyone counts. We face Newcastle on Saturday and we need support in the middle of the park. Robbie will be fine. Oh. Make way for the new chairman. Take it you've had a good day. This is the best job in the world. I mean, me and Patrick totally agreed about the team. And I reckon between the two of us, we can bring the Dragons back to the top. Sorry, Jack. How's your day been? Oh, fabulous. I upset that blonde girl, got a caffeine headache, and realised just how much we've taken on. Oh. But on a lighter note, I did win 10 nil against the waste paper basket. I'm sorry, Tash. No, I am. It's just, well, it's been a long time, eh? Hello? Hi, Tash, it's me. How's Jamie? Uh, yeah, great. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, when can I see you again? I don't know. Oh, I've missed you, baby. I wish you were ready. Don't be silly. Can we try again? Can I try to get away? No. Please. Please. Look, Dad, got my hands full right now. Can I call you back? But I'm sorry, babe. I'm just not in the mood. Mr Wallace, Jeff Stein's here. He's an agent who handles a number of our players. Wondered if you were free for a chat? I, um... Uh... Whatever. I'm going to the house to measure up. Oh, she yeah. really likes you, Sandra. There you go. Jeff Stein. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's the look of a man with woman trouble. Only cure, stiff whiskey. Damn! Can I help? Not unless you know how to hotwire a car. I'll leave that to the youth team. Can I give you a lift? I don't want to take you out of your way. Hop in.
I take it you'll be handling the business side of things. Oh, yeah. Good, good. And what about the missus? I'd like to get involved. She's not too keen, am I right? You know, I never make any decisions without consulting her first. Well, except passion got the better of me. <laughs> Thank God for passion, then. <laughs> you see, Phil, in my experience, all women just want to be spoiled rotten. Give her a chance to dress up, nice present, she'll be putty in your hands. Hardly saint pay, is it? I take it Hartchester was on top of your list of places where I want to live when I win the lottery. Second. After Birmingham. What did you do before? You know, you're the first person to ask me that. Well, you don't look like a housewife, that's all. I was a state agent. Fairly dull, really, but I liked it. You know, when Phil first told me that he bought the dragons, I thought, maybe it's some castle up in Scotland. Do you wish it was? It rains less here. Well, let me assure you, I'll do all I can to help. Both of you. What the hell are you doing here? They're for Jamie. How is he? Asleep. They're lovely. You are. No, what if Jamie wakes up? Well, then we'll hear him. I can't do this anymore. I just can't. Jackie, are you in here? No. How did you get home? I've got the car. I took our private jet. Hey, you'll never guess who lives opposite. Thrill me. Fletcher. And Bandini lives next door. Maybe we should go round and say hi. Maybe we shouldn't live here. But this is a dream home, Jack. The kind we've always wanted. And we can decorate however you want. Look, I know you haven't had a lot of fun today. So why don't you go down to London tomorrow? Buy yourself something nice to wear. I'll have a big surprise for you in the evening. Sounds intriguing. Well, intrigue is my middle name. Not Eric, then. Oh, shut up. We will should christen this house, you know. I love it when you get religious on me. I know you're not going to leave Jamie. He needs you. And you've got hope to think about. So if that means we've got to meet in secret... I can't. Look, I want you. I fancy you. And I love how you are with hope. Yeah, I feel the same. Which is exactly why we can't see each other anymore. I can't trust myself. It's too dangerous. Yeah, but... No, don't say anything, please. See what I mean? Can you just go? Tash. Tash, I'm in love with you. It's over, Robbie. Whoa! There she goes! Robbie, Robbie! I hear the reserves are short at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to hold her? No, thanks. She won't bite. I know, I'm just scared that I might drop her or something. Hmm. Well, you can't drop a pram. Hey? She needs to get some fresh air and you need to get some exercise, so why don't you go together? I just I don't think it's a very good idea. Jamie, you need to spend some time with your daughter. Well, uh, what if she cries? Well, then you talk to her. I'll give her a big daddy smile. 
Come on, Jay, it'd be good for you. Coochie, coochie, coo. <laughs> Amazingly happy I am. Mr. Wallace, I've booked the room for you and your wife at the Grange this evening. Great. Oh, could you send us some flowers? What kind? How about white roses? Very classy. Brilliant. Thanks, Sandra. Ned, what a gentleman. So, how did Alex sleep? They tucked me in the. Uh, the good Heidi Hall. Oh, yeah. Where you been? Round the block? Oh, hi, Dad. Hello, sweetheart. Chocolate? No, thanks. Mm. Where's Jamie? Taking Hope out. It's a good sign, isn't it? Yeah, very good. Um, I've been talking to the board and the club doctors. Now, they've got Jamie a place at the best treatment centre there is. He can train there, get his game back, and get all the psychotherapy he needs. Mm, that's great, because he needs to start playing again. Thing is, it's in Los Angeles. What? I don't want to go to America. You don't have to. I know it's short notice. No way. He's only just got home. The club thinks it's for the best. But he's just got out of hospital. He's got post-traumatic stress. He's still not right in the head, Dad. Which is exactly why he should go. You can't do this to me. I know it's hard. But you have to do what's best for Jamie. Now, will you talk to him? Down into the ground, come on. Nice one, Monday. Come on, wake up, Robbie. What's wrong with you? Put some energy into it. Go on, Curtis. Look at each other. Talk to each other. Pick up. Come on. Pick up. That's it. Good stuff. Come on, Robbie. Wake up. In you go. In you go. Come on. Put some energy into it, Robbie. What's wrong with you? You are coming tonight, aren't you? Are you? Have to. And he says be booze. <laughs> come on, wake up. That's it. Good stuff. Come on, son. What's wrong with you? Wake up, son. This is not a meeting room. Do you see me? Yeah. Well, I was thinking, now that Taylor's gone, do you want to represent me? I'd be very pleased to have you on my book, son. I mean, I don't mind dealing with Tash. Uh, she's got a lot on her plate right now. What kind of money you want? Two grand a week. <laughs> really? Well, we'll up that to start. Yeah? Yeah, she'll be a daughter one. We move a man upstairs. In fact... I should have some very good news for you soon. I never knew Fletch around this much. And Stuart Naismith. I mean, not one international under his belt. It's silly money, don't you think? Ah, that's the fella. Hello, my love. They're gorgeous. I never knew you had such good taste. We're in for more surprises later. <laughs> Dying to know what. Ah, uh, I'll see you later. I love you. I can't wait. I love you too. She was fantastic. She slept like a baby. <laughs> oh, is she a good girl? So you enjoyed yourself then? Yeah, especially when these girls came up and started chatting to me. Really? Yeah, she does wonders for your pulling powers. I'm only joking, Tash. Dad came round while you were out. Is this right? Yeah, so all. Well. What did he want? Huh? Your dad. Oh, um, nothing much. Just wanted to know how you were, really. I'd like to set up a transfer deal. I'm your man. Contacts at every top European club. Who are you buying? Selling. Robbie Walsh. But you won't get a lot for him, not yet. I want Rid. He's useless. Look, uh, far be it from me to question your decision, but you do know that Patrick has to agree to the buying and selling of any players. He's all for it. Oh. So, what do we do now? I'll, uh, I'll start scanning for offers, I suppose. Great.
Wow. They are gonna be so impressed. Don't tell me we're dining with the Beckhams. Close. Jamie and Taz. Yeah, that's it. Dad, how can they send him away? You haven't told him, have you? No. He needs to spend time with his family, both of them. It's only a few months, Natasha. They'll all be here just the same. Well, most of them. But our daughter won't be the same, will she? She'll be crawling by then. She might have even said her first word, and Jamie will miss it all. You should have seen him with her today, Dad. He was so good with her. We just need a bit more time. I'm sorry, sweetheart. If he doesn't go, the club won't take him back. You must think about his career. Wish me luck. Luck. Gentlemen and ladies. Oh, hello. Here we go. As your new chairman, I'd, I'd just like to say a few words. Firstly, how amazingly happy I am to be uh, standing here in front of the one team that I've supported all my life since the age of six. Secondly... Forget the speech. I just want to say I'm really excited to be here. We're going to have an amazing season. And, well, I've got every faith in all of you. So, uh, let's hear it for Harchester United. Yay. Yay. And for beat Newcastle on Saturday. Hey. And to... to my lovely wife, Jackie. Anyway... Uh, <laughs> sticker. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie, um, Robbie, I must say thanks very much for those flowers. Why didn't you hang about earlier? Oh, I had things to do, mate. Nice. Right, Alright, um, yeah, I know what you've been doing for Tash. It's, you know, helping with the baby, being a mate and all that. It's really good yeah. of you, man. It's obviously you're only doing it to get in with, um, with Jeff, but, um, you know, thanks anyway. Jeff, can I drink? Uh, you, yeah, I'll have, um, I'll have a diet coke. You want to get yourself an English agent now you're here? Dad. I'm not again, sweetheart. I know you're upset, but, you know... Let us go to LA with him, me and Hope. Please, Dad, if he goes alone, I don't think our marriage will survive it. Please? I'll talk to them. I don't see there being a problem. But I'm going to miss you, though. Uh, can we go now? Uh, no. Grab yourself another volatile and try and look happy. Carl Fletcher. Can I shake your hand? Yeah. <laughs> can I touch it? I'm a famous foot. Yeah, go on in if you like. Watch the level there. <laughs> awesome. Sometimes. So, Fletch, anything you want to ask me? Yeah. Any chance of pay rise? <laughs> Good one, mate. <laughs> yeah, very funny. Stuart Naismith. Big fan. That's a stunning dress. At least I've got something nice to show for our winnings. What did you really think when you heard that a couple of lottery winners had bought the club? Honestly? No. Lie to me. I thought it was a bit naff. Sorry. Don't be. You're right. But Phil's a great bloke. Really. I know. And I hate to see people laugh at him. Well, I'm not laughing. Everyone else is. 
Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, just a bit. Oh, I'll just go get Tash. <laughs> oh, let someone else find out. Hey, you're not on duty tonight. You go on, then. Come here. Like you're enjoying yourself as much as I am. Yeah. Footballers, hey. Must be hard enough working with them, let alone socialising. Sorry. Well, they're hardly stimulating company, are they? The best men I've ever known have been footballers. Sorry, my brother, my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry, lady. Try the laundry. It's so weird, suddenly having all this. Yeah. Still pinch myself sometimes. I expect to wake up. I was like that when I joined the first team. It was scary, though, wasn't it? It's like you've imagined it so many times, and then it's real, and you're like, whoa! Yeah, that's it. It takes time to settle, though. That's what people forget. They expect you to be brilliant from day one. Well, like me, I've had so many injuries. I've never had a consistent run in the team. But I know that, given a chance, I can do it. It was near, you know. Yeah. And when you love something, well, you've got to give it all you can. What if that's not enough? <laughs> it will be. It's not as anyone's going to sack you, is it? I'll, um, I'll speak to you later. Right. More champagne, madam? No, hey, thanks. I've had enough. said it was over. We're going abroad. What? Jamie's having treatment in America and we're going to go with him. You can't. I've made my choice, Robbie. I'm in love with my husband. I'm sorry. Sorry about what? Well, don't tell me my wife's hassling you about babysitting again. Mm. Tash, leave the poor bloke alone, yeah? Here you are. You noticed I'd gone then. Oh, don't be like that. Like what, Phil? Like someone who's had a miserable evening? I just wanted to talk to everyone. It'll make a good impression. And I thought that tonight was supposed to be for me. It is. this? The key to your heart? You were so corny. I know. Why do you always do this? What? Make it so hard for me to hate you. What? It's just that some of the guys are going clubbing. But you hate clubs. They really want me to go. Are you sure about that? Yeah. <sighs> Open your eyes, Phil. They think that you are an idiot. So do I. I'm glad she's behaved herself. Thanks, Sandra. Any time. She was a joy. <laughs> Thanks. See ya. Bye. Oh, they're so tiny. <laughs> What's that for? You. I won't go. Jackie? You don't get it, do you? Just get out of my sight!
course, Harchester's first match under new chairman Phil Wallace. The lottery winner who's gone from plumber to proprietor, from die-hard fan to decider of Harchester's fortunes. He must be a very excited man right now. Dream Inc. people will be here at 2.30 and there's a press call at 3. Is Mrs. Wallace coming? Uh, no. She, um, she went to see her mum yesterday. Oh, I thought I hadn't seen her about. <laughs> Excuse me a minute. About Robbie. Um, perhaps I was a bit hasty. I think he just needs a, a chance to settle in. Play a bit more. In fact, it'd be good to see him on the pitch today. Really? Well, can you just give him a chance? Jeff, avoid. Blimey, you look terrible. Everything all right? She had a bit of bad news, that's all. Anyway, cheer me up. Tell me about that pay rise. Ah, uh, thing is, I'm not sure Harchester's the right club for you. Maybe you need a change of scene. What? Well, you know how it is, Robbie. New chairman means a change of personnel. I'm sorry. But don't worry, we'll get you a good move somewhere. I promise. The team is as follows. Fizz, Grant, Mac. Naismith, Sullivan, Hilaire, Walsh, Sabatier, Thompson, Fletcher and Alexander. Monday, you're on the bench. Robbie, I want you to really fight and win the ball in midfield and supply Marcel. I don't understand. First you're all for getting rid of Robbie, then you tell me we need to be patient. Now you're making him the ball winner. What's going on? I'm just giving the lad a chance. He's not up to it. You know that as well as I do. We'll see. Shop window. That's all. Terrific atmosphere already building up at the Dragon's Lair. High Flyers, Newcastle, the visitors for Harchester United's second game of the season. Guaranteed to be a lockout. Newcastle United bringing their usual huge following. Skipper Alan Shearer, one of many stars that manager Sir Bobby Robson has at his disposal today. Nikos Dabizas, Kieran Dyer. This is going to be a so it's confirmed. Oh, it's brilliant. Thanks, Dad. It's almost kickoff, Tash. Forget the game. I've got something to tell you. Don't worry, it's all good. Well, let's take a look at the Harchester United starting 11. One change from that which began against Leeds last week. In attack, Curtis Alexander is preferred to Monday Bandili. Whilst there's another start for Robbie Walsh in midfield, a somewhat strange and controversial decision from manager Patrick Doyle. The Dragons' lair is a cauldron of noise ahead of this second match of the Premiership season. What a big afternoon for Robbie Walsh. And can Harchester beat High Flyers Newcastle United? A game which promises a lot of goals. Harchester going forward now. Sabatier finding Fletcher, promising move this for Harchester. It's all a, a bit sodden, I mean, Los Angeles. Oh, it'll be great, Jay. You'll get the best training and treatment. We'll get to spend loads of time together. You can have a nice house with a pool or even on the beach. Oh, God. What? I hope my bikini still fits me. I'm going to go and check here. You go to Daddy, darling. Take her. Girl. Tash, it's... Shh. Oh, shh. Newcastle United coming forward here with some menace. Laurent Robert in a little bit of space. The Frenchman finds only the side netting. Bobby Robson suggesting a cross might have been the order of the day there. And Harchester have been on the rack in the last few minutes. Searching ball now. Seeks out Robbie Walsh. Oh, he's got him behind here. Harchester looking for a penalty. And referee Jeff Winter is unmoved. No penalty for Walsh. And chairman Phil Wallace equally disappointed in the stands. It remains at nil-nil, and certainly that was the brightest we've seen from Harchester so far. Dermain Genas coming forward with some menace now for Newcastle United. Surrounded by Harchester players, but Genes is getting through here. 
And that looked like a free kick. Again, a rather disappointed looking Curtis Alexander. And fairly close to being a penalty for Bobby Robson. Laurel Robert with the Newcastle free kick. Oh, it's in! Newcastle take the lead and the goal scorer is Carl Cork. And you really have to say that that goal had been coming. Does it get cold in LA? Tush, please just stop. You do still want to go, don't you? <sighs> yes, I do. But on me own. Newcastle United set to take a 1-0 lead into half-time, and that they do. Patrick Doyle with some words to say at half-time. Carl Court, the goal scorer for Newcastle United. Walsh, Sabatier unhappy, and Harchester have it all to do in the second half. You are creating nothing out there. Fletch, stop running up blind alleys and show out for the ball. We're getting nothing from midfield, Gaffer. Get Robbie off. And we are playing too deep. Defence, push up. Play further up the park. <clears throat> right. No changes. I know we're not taking me off. I'm up for sale. Who told you that? Jeff. He said Phil wants me out. Wallace may have an agenda, but it's not mine. Nobody goes anywhere without my say-so, and that includes you. Look. I appreciate your faith in me. Maybe I should come off. Fletch and Stuart are right. I ain't up for it. Rubbish. You've got to believe in yourself or you'll never make it. Well, that's easier said than done. No, it isn't. We all have doubts. We all have stuff going on in our heads, but we get rid of it on the pitch. So get back out there and believe you're the best. So what do you want that they're wrong about you? Come on. I do still love you. It's just so different from before. You mean you wish we didn't have the baby? No! I don't know. But I thought you were starting to love her. I'm trying. It's just I can't seem to feel anything. Harchester <sighs> trailing by a goal to nil. And manager Patrick Doyle needs more in the attacking sense from his team. Carl Court, the goal scorer so far. Alexander, oh, lovely turn by Walsh. It's a brilliant run from Robbie Walsh. Can he go all the way here? Fine save by Gibbon. That's the form that Walsh is looking for. Look at her. She's your daughter. How can you tell me you don't feel anything? Tasha, I want to, but I just... I can't. We just need more time, babe. That's why we all need to stay together. No. You don't feel anything for me either, do you? In my head, there's all these broken bits of me. And you and everything that's happened, it's like some kind of mad jigsaw. And most of the time, I think that I've got all the pieces in the right place. But then you say something or the baby cries and, and I just panic. And it really scares me. But that's the trauma, babe. I can help you. No. Can't you see that you're part of the trauma? You and Hope. And I don't feel like a father or a husband. The one thing I do feel like is a footballer. And I feel safe with that part of myself. And if I can just get back into that, then I can begin to know who I am again. <sighs> Does that make any sense? back with Vizaralis. Manchester still trailing to that headed goal from Carl Court on the stroke of half-time. One nil. Been a little bit of evidence that Harchester beginning to find their passing range now. And the I'm movement sorry. is somewhat better. Certainly that's what manager oh Doyle my. has been asking I've been thinking. at half-time. I don't want the clock of it. Come on, my son. <sighs> Now Fletcher. I'm gonna make you someone happy. This is a lot more promising from Harchester. Yes. Alexander I mean, to Walsh. When it comes down to it, I... Sabatier now in space. Marcel Sabatier! Yes! Yes! Wonderful goal! <laughs> Harchester, Good, Harchester back on terms!
Holmes and the Frenchman does it again. What are we doing in here? United simply had no answer to that sweeping move from Archester. 1-1. So you're going to leave us then? Not for long. You don't know what you're doing. I need you here. You're going to be looked after, Tash, by your dad. Robbie? You have no idea, not an inkling of what I've been through these past few months. I gave birth to our baby on my own. I wanted to hold your hand, hear your voice, but no, you weren't there. You was on that stupid coach. And then afterwards, I had to be the strong one again. And I don't... <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry. James, okay. I'm sorry. It's all Harchester now. Naismith finding Walsh. Still Walsh in there. Can he find a gap? He can, you know. Oh, it's in. What a tonic for the youngster. Robbie Walsh has done it. Bobby Robson cannot believe it. Newcastle United goalkeeper Shea given in despair, but just look at the delight for Walsh. Hey, babe. I know you're not ready for a ship. I understand. We'll cope. You are the world's best wife, you know that. And you're the world's worst husband. And here's Alexander off the frame of the goal. Curtis Alexander desperately close to make it 3-1, but it doesn't matter. Referee Jeff Winters blown the full-time whistle. And Harchester United, to the delight of their fans inside the Dragon's Lair, have made it back-to-back -back wins at the start of the Premiership season. Robbie Walsh congratulated there by Carl Fletcher. No doubt Walsh repaying the faith of his manager. Can we go now? Yeah, darling. Excuse me. Hey, boys. What can I say? <laughs> About what? About the fact that he's not for sale after all. What's going on? Well, let's just say I flexed my managerial muscle, informed Phil who really runs the club, and told him Rob was going nowhere. Tash, it's me. I don't know if you've gone yet, but I just wanted to say, I hope it all works out for you. I mean that. I'll speak to you later. Bye. Fantastic goal. Well done, mate. Well, no thanks to you. Can't you stay just one more night? Tash, that's only going to make it harder. It's best if I just go now. <sighs> now, you won't forget me, will you? You're the one with the memory problems. <sighs> Wait for me, babes. That is the first time you've called me babe since the accident. I won't be the last. May you be strong for me. I was scared, I was scared Tired and underprepared But I'll wait for it <laughs> If you go, if you go Leave me down here on my own And I'll wait for Coming soon on Dream Team. I want Scott Lucas back. Oh, that's a good idea. I tell you what, we'll get Petit at the same time. I'm serious. So am I, Phil. We haven't got that sort of money. We need to cash in our assets. But I am the best player you have. Don't leave me on my own. 
people are about to sell me, Tash. I don't understand. I am paying well. You want mine? A team of advertisers returned to the scary days without mobiles and email in the 1970s office tonight at 10 here on Sky 3.